Welcome to the Scoop School Podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host. His air conditioner is set at a comfortable 18 degrees Fahrenheit. The ice cream bloke and self appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. Welcome to this episode of the podcast. Now if you haven't heard, we're giving a big prize pack away on our 100th episode. We're getting dangerously close. So if you'd like to be involved in that prize pack giveaway, go to scoopschool.com, click on the podcast tab, and uh, look, just fill in a form there and you could be in the running. Whether you subscribe, whether you don't, we always say subscribe, it's a good idea. Uh, In any case, uh, we'd love to have you on board and give that away on our 100th episode. Now, uh, we do like to thank our episode sponsor for this particular episode, which is FrozenYogurtParts.com, a new sponsor. We thank them. Uh, Have a look at that website. It's actually pretty interesting. You've got a lot of your wear parts and parts for soft serve equipment and other equipment are available there on FrozenYogurtParts.com. Go and check them out. Tell them Steve I sent you and uh, you should be as good as gold. So we thank you for your episode sponsorship. Now. I know we don't have anything in the ice cream industry like Shark Week or whatever week. This week, we are looking at Weights and Measures Week. Woohoo! <laughs> we will make it exciting, don't you worry about that. That's why we have all of this paraphernalia here. Uh, and we're going to be going over some of the biggest questions, quandaries, concerns about weights and measurements when it comes to your ice cream business. So we're going to, over the next five videos, talk about very specific challenges and things that you need to keep an eye out on when it comes to weights, measures, scooping, portion control, wholesaling, and a whole lot of other issues. So uh, we welcome you. Now, we're going to start off this uh, five video series with just talking about what an average size cone is. Because a lot of people um, struggle with, well, what should my average, what should my medium, what should my large be? So regardless of where you are in the United States, whether you go on the east coast, west coast, uh, whether you're up north, south or in the midwest, if you go into most ice cream shops and you say, look, just give me a regular cone, that cone is going to be about five weight ounces, give or take a half an ounce or an ounce. The only uh, exception to that rule is gelato. Because gelato is such a lower overrun or a lower air product and it's made with primarily Italian ingredients, a lot of their portion sizes might be a little bit smaller. So a regular might be a two to three ounce. Um, In any case, again, frozen yogurt, uh, soft serve, premium ice cream, custard, you go into any shop around the place and you say, look, just give me a a regular five ounce, sorry, a regular serve, it's going to be about five ounces, give or take about an ounce. So that should be your platform. We're going to talk in another video coming up about kids cones, whether you should sell them and what size should they be. I think you'll find those tips pretty um, interesting. In any case, so five ounces give or take. So if my regular cone is uh, five ounces, what should my medium and what should my large be? Well, an industry standard basically is a three ounce scoop on top of that standard cone. So for example, if my five ounce cone or a five ounce serving is my regular serving, my regular straight off the bat serving, then typically my medium will be another three ounces on that, three weight ounces, which will be eight ounces. And then again, you might have another two or three scoop on top of that for your large, which could be 10, 11 ounces. So everything primarily goes by around about a three ounce scoop. Now it's up to you as to whether you want to kind of stick with that or go large or go small, but just know that that's the standard generally speaking. Now again, you've got stores again that are larger, smaller, but um, you can base most of your portion control, most of your pricing on that regular five ounce cone or cup, I should say. Now again, when we talk about a lot of these different things, we need to be aware of what we're talking about when it comes to ounces, because the US still uses the term ounce for volumetric as well as weight. So for example, this is a five ounce cup. It is a Solo SD5, it's a great cup. Uh, Use it for a lot of things. 
But even though that's a five ounce cup, I can put 10 ounces of ice cream in it. How is that possible? Because five ounces is a volumetric size and my ice cream that I'm actually uh, portioning out is always done by weight. So I can put 10 ounces of ice cream in a five ounce cup. It can be very confusing. And that's one of the reasons why we're going over some of these issues this particular video series. So again, as you're looking at where on your uh, process or where on your menu your sizes should be, generally speaking, industry standard, you've got five ounces as the regular serving. And then two to three ounces, generally three ounces on top of that for a medium uh, and on top of that for a large. Now, um, a couple of things about that. A lot of stores now are leaning now towards calling those sizes regular, medium and large rather than one scoop, two scoop or three scoop. And the reason why that is, is because of customer perception. Because if I'm serving out a five ounce cone and I say that it is a single scoop, so this is our one scoop or single scoop, it's five ounces. I might have two employees that do two different scooping techniques. One is using a large scoop to be able to get one nice big round scoop, put it in this cup, and lo and behold, there I've got five ounces. Another might be a little bit cautious, use one large scoop, weigh it, and then put a second, maybe smaller scoop on top to make sure that you're not over portioning or under portioning. Now the perception is, even though we've got two cups now that weigh exactly five ounces, the first one was done with one scoop, the second was done with two, technically two scoops. So customers end up saying, well, he got more than me because he got two scoops and I only got one. So that's why the industry is leaning towards just having the term regular, medium and large. Um, so you might want to consider that as well in these winter months as you're looking at uh, menu renewal, menu pricing, uh, to kind of have a look at your sizes and what you call them. One, two, three scoop, although it uh, is an easy perception in a lot of customers' minds, a little bit harder to do on the execution side. So I would kind of have you have a look at that. So that's all we have for this particular video. Again, five ounces is a regular size serving, another two or three three ounces on top of that for your medium and your large and maybe consider calling your products regular, medium, large rather than one scoop, two scoop or three scoop. Look, we appreciate you being here. Again, thank you for frozenyogurtparts.com for their sponsorship. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please shoot us a line or leave a comment here underneath the, uh, on the video. And again, go to scoopskill.com, click on the podcast tab and enter for our big 100th episode giveaway. Thanks for scooping, folks. Thanks for scooping. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next episode.